I learned about color trends and how I go about my research to pick the correct colors. Um, I do a lot of research with WGSN, which is a forecasting, um, trend forecasting and color forecasting company that um, broadcasts um, what they have found out to other designers and um, whether from the fashion industry, interior design, product design. Um, so I brought I bring a lot of inspiration from that. Taking a step back and looking at what's happening, um, a lot of the colors that are we are drawn to are subconsciously are because of stuff that's going on in our environment. So right now, their digital brights are super in. It's like the neon colors that are really vibrant on your phones, on your TV, on your screen. So like really bright blues and really bright greens, um, stuff that's really eye-catching. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, it's like very tinted neutrals where it's driving from um, sustainability and looking at like muted colors that are from more natural dyes and how humans are now becoming more drawn to materials that look more natural um, subconsciously because global warming and looking at our environment. And so it's interesting to see how those are playing a role in how we perceive color and what we're drawn to as humans. Social media is a big reason why I think that um, bright colors are so in. I mean, when you're going th scrolling through your news feeds and Instagram, those really bright um, posts that you're seeing or advertisements that's really eye-catching with really bright, pretty colors, you're going to be drawn to it a little bit more than just a black and white or a gray photo. Uh, so I think that's the big reason why those colors are so eye-catching and popular.